What are you doing? What happened? Vinny, I have almonds for you. I put them in, in your special place. Vinny, stop now. No. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is my fascinators. That's what it's called, yes or no? Fascinators? Yeah, like the hat with the... Yeah. What, Betty? You don't even know, is it or not? Oh, fascinate. Uh, I have no idea. Feature? <laughs> the feature on my head today. The feature on my head today is none other than Brando. But tomorrow we will have a new feature on my head. Hi, Bella. Hi. How are you? Hey. Who's that? Leo. Working with stoves that have their buttons already attached. I feel like it's rushing roulette. Like that one didn't even nothing. Nothing happened. Just noise. Oh, guys! I put Brando away while the stove is on, and she's just sitting right here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? When the food is done, you get to come out, okay? Just because it's hot right now, okay? And you're not my smartest one right now. Oh, I love her. Ooh, my wife has come to make me dinner. I tell George that I don't need him anymore. I can start with these. What is this? Like almond flour quesadillas. I'm eating the first. What kind of meal is this? It's the start. It's your pre pre. This pre looks part. like a malawach without a. It tastes like I made it in the Israeli desert. Not kidding, on school trips in Israel, that's what we did. I was like, um, when I lived in Jersey, we went to the ice skating rink. What is that? You said a little bowl. That's this a little is bowl. like a, it's not even a bowl. This you is, shouldn't have said little bowl. I found the littlest bowl I could find. This is like for hors d'oeuvres. And what am I gonna do with a spoon? Control. Eat it. I mean, it's like a fork, no? What are you doing? Putting the birds to bed, because I think it's their bedtime. Ty's not here to remind Do you want to explain to the Sniffer Army how I got such good friends that know how to put the birds to bed? Let's see. You attract what you are. Oh, no, that's really sweet. I got Brando a toy earlier, and I was like, hey, this is for you, sweetie. And it must have been Merlin, but Merlin was like, this is for you, sweetie. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, how did you learn to put the birds to bed? I learned like a decade ago how to put the birds to bed. And then you just kept, you didn't stop getting birds, so it just applied how you put one to bed, like how you put them all to bed. And what makes you take this initiative to put the birds to bed right now? Because these are your children. So, you know, you're Bella's godmother. It's so funny because like, I, I think what I was going for with asking you that is a lot of people ask me like, what do I do when I go out of town? <laughs> well, you have your people you rely on, you can count on. Right. Your count on counter honors. What would you suggest to people Hi. that have I birds? Look how excited she is about her Let's water. ask Nora if she's available to be rented out. Look like they love their hot water. So cute. Can you imagine if there was a, is there like a bird nanny that like travels around? You know, like you come get a pet sitter? Like, but like a traveling one? Yeah, like, like basically, you know, I think like, wow. That what if they were that known? That like, aura. I think what sometimes people are wondering, what would your advice be? Come closer. You're blurry, why? <laughs> I just bring blur. You just bring blur. <laughs> Don't go to her Instagram, guys. It's just a bunch of blurry photos of her. You've been warned. <laughs> at Tracy called me. What advice would you give to people like, you know, that are going out of town and they don't know what to do with their birds? I want to see what my friend's advice would be. I would imagine it's how you get like a pet sitter. There's not like a, a service. Bird nanny. No, but Tracy, you... <laughs> Sometimes I have to explain things to her in a certain way. <laughs> Brando's laughing at you. You're welcome. 
And now Brando's yelling at you. Brando's like, then you get the question. Don't you understand this Sorry, is about you? Brandon. Sometimes people ask me like, what do you do when you're away? Right? <laughs> you want to come yell on camera so that everyone can see your attitude problem? Um. Well, I mean, I. I'm also having a brain freeze, but it's not about that. It's just a brain freeze. I like, mean, I we know when you're going out of town, I, I like help you pack. And then we ask you, like, who's taking care of the birds? Who do you have? Like, what do you? So basically what you're saying. And then we just kind of show up and do it. <laughs> this is not a good example. I don't think you've actually ever asked. Unless there was like an emergency, like, <laughs> Jenna, <laughs> like, like Jenna was gone and you were gone and, and like Sylvia wasn't around, that there's like an emergency. But normally we just, Tell you. Nora's got these nights of these nights, and then Nora and I communicate to each other. It's really funny because you're kind of making it look like I could just leave and then people will just figure it out. No, for well, first me. of all, you don't even like leaving. You don't like don't leaving. Like so it's a rare thing when you travel, and a lot of the traveling is sometimes done with me. <laughs> so <laughs> you're funny, Brad. Jenna, Jenna, you know. But then she got a boyfriend. I think the she question. And she got, <laughs> she got a sorority. The question is, hold on, that's up, that's up, up. That's, that's our avian tea right there. Show what tea that is. What you brew in the Posh City Pets. She makes the cutest teas. Of course, she also makes our tea. It's like one of those quick advertising breaks. I know, you're the perfect guy for it. Let, you, let me tell you about what you brew. If you're not brewing this, what you brew in. Oh my god. <laughs> Here, do this one. But we drank it all because like we love it so you much. You know how you know that a tea is really good? You've run out. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't tried Jersey's birthday blend of chamomile, hibiscus, and red raspberry leaf, what's you brewing? Because you ain't brewing this. Oh my god, why didn't you turn out to be a commercial actor? Do this one. Remember I bombed that commercial and got a call back? You didn't bomb it. Bomb it would mean you didn't do well. Oh, I crashed it. Crashed <laughs> it. <laughs> I had an audition for something once and me and her, we just gallivanted all day together every day, right? What are we doing today? Oh, I don't know, I got an audition. Okay, I'll come. So I was like, you should just go in. Just write your name. What do they care? They don't know who they have on their list. <laughs> she got a call back and I didn't. It was so funny. <laughs> and she didn't go to call back because she was scared she'd be found out. I'm like, they obviously wanted you. What did they care? You ever want a romantic, spicy evening? Well, Vinny's Brew will bring you just that. What you brew in Vinny's Brew? Peppermint and rose. Because let's be honest, if you're not brewing Vinny's Brew, what you brewing? Oh my god. <laughs> right now, right now, Posh City Pets has found their new <laughs> model. Hi, can we book Tracy because she came up with what you oh, brewing? Really? Yeah, I honestly. I will write your jingle. But, but be careful because Cody thinks oh. you're like guarding the sink. Oh, did we forget about you, Bella? Oh, hey, what you, what you, what you doing? What you doing? What are you doing over there? Lounging. What is this mess you guys made, huh? I got a problem. I need to get these boxes out of the hallway, but they're all too heavy for me. Oh guys, this is my uh, new yoga instructor. Tracy lost 400 pounds in one year. No, <laughs> 400. How many? I was fine. Um, I was like, two, 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 what, 150? What, no, 270 minus 120. Minus the baby, 40. when the baby came out, plus this. 150 pounds. You lost 150? Yeah, it was 270 when I gave birth to Bella. She's my new fitness instructor. She keeps me. All she really does is ban me from eating. Makes me like these weird little tortillas that have nothing in them. <laughs> she doesn't let me have my coffee, so there's no Starbucks. She makes sure I have rice. Obviously, I don't have bread. Syrup. And I don't have anything many, else anymore. Corn. Food. But solved a lot of my problems. So results with Tracy. What are you doing? What happened? Vinny, I have almonds for you. I put them in, in your special place. Special almonds, hand them down. What are you doing, Vinny? Vinny, no. Vinny, true. 
Tracy has almonds for you. Watch what happens if I yell at Vinny. Okay, watch this, watch this, it's really funny. Vinny, stop now. No, 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 no. I said no, Vinny. Vinny, I didn't, I don't think so. Vinny, I'm warning you. That's naughty. Vinny! You no, know, you know, I, Vinny, I said absolutely not. Silly bird. Look how quickly you got this candle in.